Hello my friends and welcome to a new video, a new tutorial. This time I got a request if I could make a tutorial about the Revolution Reverb from Steinberg that Yamaha built in the Genus 2. And of course I wanted to do this. The fun fact was that so far I've been using uh, the, the Revolution Reverb only with the volume buttons to say how much reverb I want over either the voices or the style or midi file, which I'm not using too much, but it doesn't matter. The, you can adjust the reverb in two ways, either with the volume buttons or sliders if you prefer, because you can also assign them to the sliders. Or you can change it with the voice. Let's start with the basics because that's the most important and that is setting the reverb amount. In other words, reverb volume. So I am at the default beginning when you start up the keyboard. The, the last used uh, registration is showing but you are starting up with the piano sound. Of course, I'm using the sustain pedal, so you already get that reverb effect. First of all, when you want to adjust reverb, let me show you first how the piano sounds dry without the pedal. Now I'm pressing the knob assign button until I see reverb. Now I see reverb at 36. Yes, that's the one. Now we will search. Well, before I do this, that searching for the style reverb, if you press direct access and then turn the knob where you've got the reverb on, you can see it, the reverb is on row number one on turning knob five, reverb. If you tap it, you get to see you're in the mixer category on page two. So, now we're going for the style reverb. I want to use as an example a swinging safari. Why? Because it's with a, a big orchestra and uh, with the brass and that's a huge band. You don't want them to sound as if they're playing in a very small studio. Not very realistic. So. Let's press that knob assign button again. And now on the right, on page three, I see style reverb. So direct access, turning on the knob. In this screen, you still see reverb. And when you go to the mixer, it still says reverb on page two. So, if you truly want to know which version of reverb you're using, you have to see in this small screen that it says style reverb. If it only says reverb, you're adjusting the, the volume of the reverb over your voices. And style reverb, that will work over the style as the name su suggests. Let me show you a little example. Let's let them play in a small room. Let's slowly enlarge the room.
Well, this is Max. Yeah, somewhere in the 60, 65. Let's, let's shut it down. Somewhere in the regions of 60, 65, 66. That is the amount of reverb that I prefer for this song. But it's to each his own. So you can see that you can change this so you can get it to your taste. And what I'm doing when I'm adjusting the keyboard before actually making the registration, I'm trying to find the balance between the style reverb and the voices reverb so they sound like they are both in the same sized room because you do not want to have enough reverb over the style, but then put the, the, the voices that you are playing in a small room. That would make no sense. So it would have been smart from your ma to also give us a button that combines both the style and the voices for the right hand. Maybe if your ma is listening to this video, give us an option that the settings will go over both reverb uh, settings at the same time. So the user doesn't have to find the balance between the, the settings over the reverb over your hand. Okay, now this is all about the reverb volume settings. Now also an explanation what in the beginning I also couldn't find. How to get that screen that Peter Bartman shows with that reverb amplifier on screen where you actually can dive into the settings of the reverb, how you want to sound, make it sound like a big hall, a small hall, a studio, whatever. Well, first of all, I'm closing down one sound, then I'm pressing voice. And now I know that Jazz Flute 2 is the one that has the but as you can see, <laughs> I've already put some reverb over here, so it's not so fair. So I want to show you this from a style where I haven't set the reverb. Let me see if this, yes, this is for non blondes. Uh, let me see if we got it over here. No, nope, there's no reverb. Uh, well, but the volume, uh, I've uh, adjusted, but when I made this adjustment, I didn't know how to actually select the reverb uh, amplifier so I could make my final tweaks on it. So here we go. You are in this screen, on the voice screen, and we go to the selected voice where you want to adjust the, the reverb over. You tap on the amplifier that is, uh, the effect amplifier that is chosen at the moment. And we go to the category reverb. So you tap once to select the category delay and you tap it again to get this screen. And as you can see, reverb is right on top of delay on page one. And in the right screen, you get to choose the settings that Yamaha made for you. Well, with, uh, of course, with uh, that, that other song that I just shown you, I would have chosen the biggest hall possible because with a swinging sapphire you get a very big orchestra playing with a lot of musicians together and when you are playing with such a big orchestra you also have a huge audience. So the hall should be really big and we are the most famous uh, uh, instrument players in the world so we need the biggest room. <laughs> That's like how, like how I like to imagine this. So you choose hall 5 wow, for whatever, then you close it. You got three buttons on the amplifier visible when you tap to select and can turn the wheel to make adjustments. But this is not all. You can also tap on the right bottom side on detail. I'm not using this because, well, this is the menu with two screens that you can adjust that Yamaha used to make the, the bigger halls, the smaller halls. But if you prefer, you can one by one use these settings and make changes 
until you like what you hear. Well, look, I'm, I'm pretty good at adjusting things how I like, but I'm getting quite older, so my hearing may not be as good as I think it is. So I prefer to stick to the default settings that Yamaha gives us, so I know for sure I'm not wrecking some effects in the reverb uh, and I couldn't hear it, but people with better hearing might be able to hear that something is wrong. So this is why I would stick to the default settings that Yamaha make and then use the, the volume, which I showed you in the beginning of the video, use the volume buttons to give myself that right amount of reverb that I want and then we're done. And in this case, we're also done with this video because this is all there is to say about Revolution Reverb. It's not as difficult as you think, but you can dive into it and make some very precise minor tweaks. Well, I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed it. If it helped you, please leave a thumbs up. A comment would be nice. And, well, maybe it, it will help my channel grow so I get a bit more views. It would make more sense to help more people. Well, thanks for watching and I wish you a very nice day.